and said, how much do we charge? No Richard looked at me and said, how much do we charge? The guy said, how about 350 pounds? And we said, yeah, that's how much it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, right, next step, paint. Oh yes, that was a really crazy story, just before you go into it. No, you don't, no, you just stay here. here. <laughs> John said to me, Leon, we need, we need to paint. paint. He said, you got any money? I said, no. You got any money? No. So what you got to understand, when we came here, we had absolutely nothing. Right? <laughs> no, we have nothing now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, and I went to a company that I knew a friend of mine. His name was Chris Stevens. I walked in and I said, look, you know, we've got this building, it's near the Olympic Stadium, and the Olympics is going to be there, and it's going to be fantastic, and we're in Hackney. He said, I'm from Tottenham, Leon. <laughs> he said, I don't give a shit about Hackney. And I didn't get any tickets for Olympics games. <laughs> but for you, you can have 100 litres of paint. White. White paint. White paint. Which is good, because every, we started. every wall in this building was green. You know that horrible council green that you get? So, we got some rollers, and the three of us started painting. I cut in. And I was painting. And that's why it was founded over 30 years ago, and they're still around today, and much more than a band. And I want you to, Orphie Robinson, who's a member of the Jazz Warriors, just to talk a little bit about the programs that Jazz Warriors are working on today. Okay. All right, as has been mentioned, the Jazz Warriors is more than just the band. And um, we've reconvened, we launched the company, it's a social enterprise, in September 2011. 